Hi there, it's Black Bright again. Um, welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're passing through, uh, please like if you like the content, subscribe if you want to receive more of me, and share if you think this content is of use to someone else. Um, also, with regard to, ouch, Ooh, just felt something on my foot. Anyway. I'm not going to be distracted by it. It feels absolutely awful. You know, when I went to Jamaica and I got those mosquito bites, well, one of them, um, I felt one on my leg. Well, not a mosquito, but the actual um, bite. So, um, yeah. So I'm not going to get sidetracked by that. I'm going to forget about it and talk to you guys. Um, so for my existing subscribers, welcome thank you for your support um in one of my videos before um i kind of mentioned grenfell tower um, because it kind of resonated with me when i was thinking about injustice and payouts and so i thought i wonder what's going on with grenfell tower so ironically there is something going on um the report is due out um the 30th of october which was the day before Brexit before the deadline moved and a lot of the people who are involved in Grenfell Tower and the compensation and the trauma were a bit worried that it would get buried in Brexit but since the deadline for Brexit has moved Grenfell Tower report can have its day. So Grenfell Tower report is coming out on the 30th of October. Um, it's got some new laws um, for landlords and um, the stay put advice is being revised and some other things but for those of you I don't think there's many who don't know about the Grenfell Tower but I'll just give you a little summary and a reminder um, Grenfell Tower was a large tower block in North Kensington was it North or South Kensington anyway it was in Kensington 24 um, 24 floors and it went up in flames in 30 minutes. This was allegedly due, it started by a malfunctioning fridge freezer and it was compounded by um, cheap cladding, which um, didn't hold, didn't give any protection to the building. This was further compounded by um, very narrow stairwells so people couldn't get in and out they couldn't cross each other the sprinklers weren't working there was no common alarm systems firemen told occupants to stay put and apparently in a building like um, Grenfell Tower even though the stay put policy is in place it does not take into account when there's mass evacuation and a fire like that so the advice was wrong so they're looking at reviewing that advice for the fire brigade and um, fire brigades were not informed about um, the engineering um, aspect of the building where the water sprinklers were so they went there ill-equipped and ill-advised so that is the background of the things that kind of happened why it was why it happened the way it did and why there were so much deaths also they there there is um recorded 72 deaths but they're not taking into account um undocumented persons so as far as they're concerned undocumented persons do not exist and if nobody has um, put forward their names they're not going to be recognized as being as having died in that fire even though um, people know that other people died over and above the 72 without evidence without proof of who these people were they remain undocumented and left for the survivors to deal with that death and lack of closure. Um, so a bit, like I said, I've given you the background. Um, 14th of June is when that fire happened. That was 2017. Um, I've said about the neglect of fire safety. Um, and tenant safety concerns were not addressed. Apparently, ten tenants did talk about there was no working sprinklers, no fire alarms, but they were totally ignored. So that is supposed to be addressed in this new report that's coming out. Apparently, the building had not been maintained or expected enough. 235 million was set aside by 
Kensington Council to secure 300 homes for those affected by the fire. 92% have moved in, some reluctantly. One man was promised a like-for-like -like tenancy, promised that the rent wouldn't increase, and the councillors have apparently reneged on that. He's got a, he's got a tenancy that is not secure and he doesn't feel great about it. Another woman, she took a property and is experiencing flooding. So you've got people who felt compelled um, or was made to feel as though they had to take certain properties and they're not suitable for their needs or they're inappropriate. Some have had to relocate into different areas and you've got all of that. But um, on paper, 92% have been housed, 84 have moved into, out of the 20, 201 households, 184 have moved into permanent housing, one is still in a hotel, two are in serviced appoint, apartments and 14 are in temporary accommodation. Um, what are we now? 2019, a couple of years on, four out of five high-rise buildings still have cladding issues and still um, constitute a fire hazard. Grenfell has become a memorial for those who died. Um, Latimer Road Tube Station has been renamed Grenfell. Um, the revised guidance uh, is that the stay put advice, they're looking into that. Um, if a building is burning, um, the two, the stay put procedure has now been cancelled uh, for 216 properties, like properties like Grenfell Power. They've cancelled that advice and they replaced it by evacuation plans. Buildings designed to have the stay put strategy, which included Grenfell Tower, were not designed to facilitate mass emergency evacuations during a fire. So there you have it. And they are looking into this research on how to advise firefighters in the future if this situation repeats itself. Buildings need to be built, managed and inspected properly. Um, 6,900 residential high-rise buildings in London are a fire risk or are potentially a fire risk. Um, Grenfell Tower Law, there'll be criminal sanctions for landlords who flout the rules. Uh, there'll be a stronger voice for tenants and residents, a stronger obligation for those responsible for the safety of high-rise buildings through design, construction and occupation. And like I said, the Grenfell Tower report, which is based on everything that happened, is due to be released on the 30th of October. Um, and we hope it will have its day and will be promoted well. So look out for that. And that's all for now. Bye bye.